guys, Dusty Baker of Crossovers Bison. Welcome back to our bison channel. Got some work going on in the Ponderosa barn. Sam and Joel are up here. Sam is one of my former students from Plano, Texas that I taught when he was in seventh grade and coached football. Sam's been doing some work for me. Uh, him and Joel just got up here yesterday and we are doing some really, we are doing some very exciting stuff. Inside the barn, we're gonna install some things that are gonna change this barn completely. Some of the stuff going on, on the inside and that will be on the exterior it's gonna be so different and uh, we're gonna have concrete poured again a lot of things happening when those guys are here it's time to get to work so first thing i'm gonna do is i'm going to let the yearlings out i've been saving pasture two um, has been in recovery mode i gave it a break it's winter there's not a lot growing right now but there is some uh, winter grass is growing that these guys are chasing uh, because we've had so much moisture here in the past month or so. So uh, it's time to drive in here in this pasture. I'm going to squeeze up by right here and we're going to do some little rotation for our yearlings and uh, get them on some green grass. Thank you guys for watching us today. Hope you enjoy another bison video. Well, as you can tell, that really worked out for me. Me and Bison and Gates just do not always get along, so the yearlings are out here. Uh, no big deal. We should uh, get them with some cubes here. Hopefully, hopefully we can get them some cubes. They're going after that green grass that the calves haven't been eating, so let's see if we can get their attention. Woo! Come on! Come on! Come on! You guys don't want to stay in there. Some missing because when I opened the gate some of them came through and uh, they're up there grazing some of that fresh growth in that corral where the calves have not been uh, eating all of it so um, I'm uh, 
probably gonna have to go get them because I want to shut this gate right here so I can get them closed off in here. And uh, but you got you can see some a lot of green growth here, and uh, it's probably grown up to maybe three inches or something. It's had oh at least three weeks of a break, and uh, ideally it you know you'd like to have them longer. But this is not the growing season, so it's really okay. Uh, it needed a little break to get them some more fresh growth, but a lot of that fresh growth should have a lot of protein in it, which is nice. Um, and I don't know how much protein compared to the summer grasses that are really growing and stuff and what's bringing up uh, what you know what kind of nutrients are coming up from the ground but uh, definitely some some of that short growth is nice and they'll they'll get after it and graze it and as it starts to heat up this time of the year as it starts to get warmer um, we'll still get some more of that green growth and uh, these guys will keep it trim these guys are the lawnmowers of the Great Plains and so um, We'll let them do their thing. Uh, and there's 20 in this group, so I gotta get the rest of them. But in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and pull through here. I've got a bag of cubes for the big Joe herd, and we can go get them taken care of. No bison fight me this time to try to get through there. Good morning, family. Hello there, Big Joe. Hey, buddy. Kid. Jeez, you're huge. Oh, not you. I wasn't talking to you. You, Texas cow. Yeah. Huge. Huge mama. What are you doing, Big Joe? Shedding some hair. Oh, he smells the cubes. Some of these mamas are getting pretty big. Um, we should. We could possibly have some babies in April. Not sure. Um, but some of these, some of these Texas cows that are pregnant for the first time in two years since I purchased them in 2020, um, some of them may be, may be ready to go. There's a cow in here. That is pretty big. Where she is right now. Um, but got some big old bellies on some of them. But excited to have some more babies. The red dog season will be here soon enough. There's the jumper right here. But um, there's the Texas mama. Golly, she's big. We could have a baby. Big Joe, what are you doing? Could have a baby. Um, maybe in April. Probably May. But maybe. Never had one in April. But. More than likely may. This is that cow I was talking about. She came up to visit me. So, All right, let's go see if we can get those yearlings back in. These guys crack me up whenever they feel like they've been left out. They just come running. <laughs> Look at that one. I love it. Cracks me up. They, they do not like being left out from anyone. Woo! Come on! Oh yeah, here come the rest of them. They're figuring out, oh my gosh, like where is everybody? I better shut this gate before they come down here and attack me. Since we got Big Joe in there, I'll take care of. Come on! Stragglers. Come on! Oh, not you. You got green grass. One of them had to 
stop and get some water. Come on, kids. There you go. Canada. Canada. Oh, here she comes. Oh, you Canadians are late. Mm-hmm. I see you. Well, it should be them all now. Count them up here and I think that's all accounted for. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Well, we'll figure it out. I'll drive up there and make sure, but I can't see them all. When I'm flying the drone, I definitely can see. But guys, something I'm so excited about is all the ponds have filled up. And I was talking to Marissa yesterday. What's beautiful about this place is the water, the drainage comes and fills up this pond here uh, in pasture one. And then when it fills up and runs off, it runs right through here and blends into pasture two. And when this pond fills up in pasture two, which is where I just let these guys out, there's a little berm there. Uh, you can see some of them are standing on top of it. Um, but from an aerial view, you can see the drainage goes from here, from pasture one to pasture two. And then when it runs over, it runs into pasture three. And that's pretty much the dead end right there. And then the rest of it, if it does run over, goes into a creek on the back side of a pasture three pond. So I call this pasture three, four, because eventually we may divide this pasture where Big Joe and them are. Uh, there's a pond there and there's a pond in this back corner. So really if you divided it every Pasture has one pond which is pretty convenient. So They're gonna be excited to be in there and um, Got like I said some fresh grass. We'll graze them in here. So we'll shut this off. That's why I really wanted to Get them all out so I could lock this gate and give them a give this pasture another break and We still have more rain coming. It's actually supposed to get cold. I hope we don't get a I hope we don't get to the freezing temperature. It's supposed to be a low of 33. A bunch of trees are blooming. We've got some fresh grass grow, so I hope that doesn't happen. But in Oklahoma, we know, I may have mentioned on my last video, one of my last videos, we don't get fooled in Oklahoma because we know that typically there's always one more freeze in March or April. So, um, But now I am uh, gonna head back up to the barn to see, I'm gonna show you what Sam and Joel are hooked up doing. Make sure they're getting after it. We've got full, full confidence in those guys. Prepping. Someone would be filming him making marks. So. Yeah, I'm under a lot of pressure. <laughs> We're good to go. Hoss, go. We're just trying to work, Hoss. Whoa. Out. It's a little wobbly. It's probably had some round bells on it for sure.
there's a little bit of footing there. Man, there's a lot of fun work going on inside the barn. Sam and Joel are doing a great job. I've been keeping them busy. They've been here all week, and uh, I'm so proud of Sam. Uh, he's doing such a great job, and uh, he's he's got Joel hooked up, and it's kind of nice because I can continue doing my work and my normal things like taking care of the bison, brooks, and, and whatever else, but I've uh, had those guys hooked up, and uh, you know, the great thing about them is they're very detailed and I trust them. I just say, this is my kind of idea. Let's put our, our minds together. And uh, I tell them the end goal and what I want. And they uh, they roll with it and are very precise and get it done. And they do a good job at it. And so it's nice to have work like that. And it's hard to find work like that. And luckily we've had a good relationship over time. And um, so we've designed some things together. Uh, that we're going to use for the bison not only all the work going on inside the barn um, we come up with some some uh some ideas on some things to help us uh, catch calves you guys are going to have to stay tuned for the next video to see what we're putting up in that west wall in the uh, barn here it's going to be an awesome part of this barn that will change the whole barn up and i uh, can't wait to show that to you guys thank you guys for watching this we'll see you soon